so here uh, load flow analysis by the GS method so here they have given the table A in the table A bus number so this is a figure so bus 1 2 3 are connected like this in bus number 1 9 3 generators are connected and bus number 2 is load is connected so data is are given like this and uh, these are the tra uh, transmission impedance per unit between the bus number 1 2 1 3 and 2 2 3 so in next table they have given the bus voltages in megawatt and MUR generation and load as lo loads are in megawatt and MUR so go for solution so let's start uh, solving this problem in by using MI power software so double is power system network editor then uh, take a database configure close it give any name open just click ok ok and uh, take a buses three buses bus number one ok save bus number two ok and save bus number three ok and just save and don't bother about any other values in the buses let's just start drawing off transmission line between one and two ok and here d rated values they are given here 100 MVA so take uh, 100 MVA as d rated and uh, structure reference number is one transmission line library in transmission line library they uh, ask positive sequence resistance and positive sequence reactances they have given bus number one and two we have done just drawn and uh, those values are 0 0.02 plus 0 0.04 and uh, in this 0 0.02 is resistance and 0 0.04 is reactance so let's put up these values 0 0.02 and 0 0.04 save it okay sorry 0 0.04 so don't disturb these other values because if you uh, make all these values are zero then your uh, derated MA value are not taken with this one save it and transmission line between bus number one and uh, three that's okay derated is 100 transmission line is 2 transmission line between 1 and 3 is 0 0.01 0 0.01 and 0 0.03 save close it save and transmission line between bus number from 2 to 3 is ok 100 3 is 0 0.0125 0 0.025 0 0.0125 0 0.025 just save it close it save it and here we obtain we drawn a main body of the system bus number one bus number two and bus number three and transmission lines and those data and the only thing remaining is uh, the generator one and generator two at uh, bus number one and bus number three and load at bus number two so let's draw so take a generator rotate it connect it to this bus number one okay and uh, voltages are given bus number voltages in per unit 1.05 plus 0 j you should put this value in specified voltage 1.05 and deleted is 100 and megawatt is they are not given any megawatt values in in the problem statement or any other else but you assume 400 megawatt because they are mentioned 400 megawatt and 250 MUR in table B in the load side and here MUR maximum reactive power is 250 and this one library and here MUR rating whichever value you put it in in this generated data there's a derated value so you should put 100 and megawatt rating here you put 400 megawatt so 400 so 
so don't disturb any other values like reactances resistances and so on just save it close it and save it and please enter number and here you put 250 mvr save it and generated one is for work is over so here we are given 1.04 here it should be a 200 and uh, real power is 200 and here is a 250 to library so here the rated is 100 200 save it close it and save it please enter the number of 250 mvr maximum so only last thing is remaining is connecting the load to the bus number 2 and uh, here real power in megawatt is given of 400 and mvr is 250 just uh, 400 and 250 here save it yeah. our uh, work is done so go for solution then go for click on solve load for analysis study info by GS method already they have asked for a load for analysis by the GS method and uh, GS method and acceleration factor should be 1.000 and number of iterations one okay execute the problem it will take a fraction of seconds before report for by standard you will get this problem answers here first voltage is First voltage is and powers. These values and these values, whichever values are given in manual, you compare. All values are exactly same except this one, MVR. 